With that, I'm going to introduce Ryan Estes, who's going to rock us. They're switched on. From the moment they get up, they're ready to go. They're ready to compete. They're in the right frame of mind. They're going to have a great day. They're switched on. I love that. They're switched on. Remember who you are. Market leader, category leader, employee owned, 75 year history, a company that's investing abundantly into sales skill, execution, and your competency and talent so you can go out and kick ass and take names. That's your competitive advantage. When I speak at a conference, a big focus of mine is when you have to give people specific, actionable content that they can put into practice immediately to change, to make a difference, to move forward, to accelerate success. Your biggest breakthrough moment in business is typically found one step outside of your comfort zone. And it's the idea to have a little bit of appetite for discomfort and uncertainty. To welcome the unknown. Because look, when you're changing, you're embracing new technology, you're business planning, you're adding to staff, you're leveraging social tech. You might be out of your comfort zone. That means you're learning, growing, getting better. When you get better, nobody can take that from you. If you want to have an event where you're going to get a bunch of people in the room and you want them to have high value, thought provoking, inspired experience in the room, then it would be suicide not to bring in Ryan. How many of you have purchased the beverage from Starbucks once in the last year? Keep your hand up. Did you see what just happened? I just proved unequivocally that 95% of the coffee drinkers in this room consume coffee without any regard to price whatsoever. <laughs> you can make a grande skinny vanilla latte at home for 26 cents. They are separating you from $5. That is not rational behavior, even if you're hungover. And they know this. They know something that it's important for you to know as you scale your business. Customers do not buy on price. Your customers do not buy on price. They will default to price in the absence of value and a quality experience. And that, yep, you can give it up for that. There you go. Value sellers in the room. Ryan just gets better and better every single time I see him. His content's fresh, it's always changing. You know, you're not gonna get the same speech this year as you got last year, uh, which means it's relevant. You have to create an identity, a standard of excellence, a process that's unique to you, centered around the customer that you can execute on consistently. I'm gonna show you mine. This is what we call the Ryan Estes experience. Six steps. When a client's interested in hiring us, we'll walk them through these steps. Immediately that creates differentiation because most people don't have a branded identity or an experience. It's not just one phone call. We have a process. And I'll, I'll tell you, we'll go as far as we want to talk to 10 people that are going to be in your audience. I know what you're telling me and I believe it's true, but I want to get another perspective and another perspective and another perspective. And when I walk on the stage with that body of knowledge and that research, my confidence is up here. And then I can deliver exactly what you talked about. Relevant, actionable insight that moves the needle on their business because I know, because I'm committed to the process. I don't mean to pick on the millennials. Um, Why well, I do a little bit. <laughs> see, see, my generation was only half your size. No one paid attention to what the hell we wanted. So now all the Xers are disgruntled, right? And I, I will tell you, when we talk about this particular topic, one of the misconceptions is that the massive conflict is occurring between the boomers and the millennials. 
And that's not necessarily the case. There is a significant conflict between my generation and the next generation because I was at my desk for seven years in a suit and tie five days a week at 745 before I ever thought about asking for a promotion. And you want what? <laughs> And it's hard for us now that we're in a management or a leadership role to get our minds around that shift. But we better, because today they are 26% of our workforce, and by 2020, they will be almost half. It was dynamic. It always gets the crowd involved. Probably one of the best sessions I've attended in a really long time. Capturing a lot of what's happening today, what organizations are facing. Many of you have worked or been mentored or coached or counseled by someone that really made an imprint on your life to help you become the entrepreneur you are today. Show of hands. Yeah, I mean the, the vast, the vast majority of the room. So we, we know this intuitively, but sometimes we forget the impact we have on people. And I'll give you two questions that'll help elevate that awareness. And these are quite the great leadership owner self-assessment questions. I use them every day. And the first one is, who did I impact today? Ownership is about impact. You can, you can ask that question both inside your business and outside. And then the second one, how will I be remembered by the people I worked with today? You know, when I ask, who's worked for an extraordinary leader, somebody that changed your life, made an impact, every hand went up. So you've had that experience. I'm gonna challenge you for just a second. Who's sitting in a room like this would put you on their list? And what gift are you giving away each and every day? That's leadership. It's humility, sacrifice, service, putting other people in a position to be the very best they're capable of becoming. Change happens in a moment. It's an idea that sparks a decision and a commitment, and that absolutely can occur inside an hour. You know, the experience or the work I do, it's not about me. It's about unpacking an idea and insight that helps somebody else change and transform it. I think that's a big part of the work that I do. This is an exciting time to be sitting here. It's a defining moment in your journey. And you are very prepared to win in the marketplace. In fact, I'll, I'll ask, how many of you feel more prepared right now than you did a few days ago before you got to Vegas to win? How many of you feel more prepared? That looks like 99.9%. .9%. Give it up. Hell of a conference. Take massive action. Take bold, decisive, aggressive action coming out of this conference. That's what creates breakthroughs, and more specifically, that's what creates breakthroughs in your client relationships.